All right. What's up, everybody? It's Challenge Express. Choo, choo. I am Tom, joined by my co-host, who his internet is spotty. But he can hear us clearly, and hopefully we can hear him clearly. Daniel, what's up, Daniel? Well, I don't appreciate how you air me out, but everything cool. Everything cool. Good. Don't worry, I got something for you. <laughs> oh, whoa, I'm, I'm a little scared. I don't know if I'll be able to see it, though, because your screen's choppy. <laughs> <laughs> Starting off with a bang. All right. I love the bang, though. All right. But, um, yep, happy to be back. Um, you know, it's an individual season now, so that's exciting. Um, Is it? Yeah. Challenge USA, episode nine. Um, I think it's exciting. How'd you like this episode? Did you hear me? No, I, I, I know you. <laughs> because it looks like you didn't hear me because your screen is frozen with you looking up in the air at nothing. <laughs> wow. wow. It's good now, though. Wow. Everything cool. But, um, I mean, the episode was, episode was okay for me. Um, we just didn't talk about it. Yeah, let's just get into it. Let's get into it. The previous, I usually don't comment on the previously on the challenge, but Ben was like, it was previously on the challenge. Nobody's doing their dishes still. And honestly, just as like a side fact, I would be one of those people that got really angry in the house when dishes were like stacked up and dirty that's like my number one pet peeve is dish dirty dishes so I would try not to let it get to me because it's a part of the game I was listening to Tyson's podcast and he was like yo Ben would get so mad over the dishes and Tyson would have to go to Ben and be like it's not worth it like it's not worth getting mad over to make a target on yourself so I think I'd be smart and not make a target on myself but on the inside I would be fuming and i would i don't know i don't know what i would do noted for december (laughs) yeah you're not staying at my place then (laughs) oh man that's a no-go noted (laughs) how to piss tom off there's a there's a couple ways you know i'm a pretty pretty happy individual you know it takes a good amount to get me angry but uh you know dirty dishes talk about my mama those are the two things <laughs> so yeah but um we get a little fun at the beginning of the episode uh we go on a boat trip it's not a challenge season unless we get one scene of a boat trip i think you know every challenge season is not every challenge season has it mm-hmm. but i remember like certain ones that have had it i remember dirty 30 but yeah like the challenge is synonymous with these little boat trips um this is where the fab five was born daniel what's what's the fab five to you is it fab that's what i want to know that's the question here is it really fab you know (laughs) um club five maybe (laughs) fab five i i i I do sure (laughs) (laughs) they could have done (laughs) bro you stupid (laughs) that was that took that was off guard right there (laughs) remember how you used to have like on your spies like you used to name your gear recaps like something funny or something like you said in your recap yeah so yeah, this recap is, is named Flub 5. I'm just going to have to start naming them right now, and it's Flub yeah. 5. <laughs> Flub 5. All right, sounds so, like a plan. <laughs> so, so yeah. Um, I thought that the five of them versus the two of Angela and Alyssa, I thought that would have been a no-brainer. Like, okay, yeah. we united over here. Let's make sure they lose uh, and then want us win. Yeah. But one of them did win, but it's still, yeah. I guess, they didn't go according to what um, initial, well, majority, not majority, um, 
mainly Sarah. It didn't go her way in terms of who she wanted, I guess, to go into, you know, elimination and stuff like that. Yeah, but, do you think it's just like a fact of, you know, these people aren't used to the challenge, so they didn't even think about, they hear individual game and maybe they think like, you know, it's me against the females. I don't have to worry about the guy's side of the house. But, I mean, the guys, there's a guy that is in the power couple. You know, like, it matters for both people's choices, whether you're man or female. But, yeah, these women were just, like, I don't know, tunnel-visioned. And we're like, oh, there's five of us girls against two of them girls. So there's no way we could lose. But, um, you know, Angela and Alyssa thinking you know a couple steps ahead pretty much got all the guys on their side except you know Enzo and David I think yeah yeah um so maybe the shortest lived alliance ever you know it pretty much crumbled uh at the daily challenge and definitely you know in the elimination when two of the fab five are going against each other I don't think we'll be hearing any more of the fab fab five because there's only four of them and oh, it looks that. like Desi is trying to get incorporated with this bigger alliance, even though she's definitely on the outside, whether she knows it or not. Yeah. Yeah. Um, something interesting is, you know, we see we saw Ben and Sarah's relationship kind of flourish throughout this whole season. Like they were buddy buddy, you know, connected at the hip. And now all of a sudden. You know, Ben has this opportunity to uh, make a deal with the the larger alliance in the house, and he, you know, doesn't look back at Sarah. I mean, he's pretty much separated himself from Sarah, and it seems like they're both okay with it. I think we'll see something come to a head eventually, and maybe an argument or some type of recognition of, like, them splitting apart will happen, which will be some drama hopefully but um what do you think about like ben's decision to just like leave sarah in the dust so quickly or, or is that how you see it do you see it in any other way i mean i just see it as um him wanting to ensure that he's in the final uh he doesn't i guess speak down on sarah but it's like he's still doing what he has to do for himself um to make it to the final That's yeah I yeah and a lot of people are doing that this season I mean that's what you're supposed to do you know put feelings aside and get to the final I feel like it's easier for a cast like this to do that because they've been on these shows before where they have to make tough decisions even like you know Big Brother is even more slimier than the challenge sometimes and uh survivor definitely can be more grimy as well so like they're prepared to make these decisions where they have to like leave a friend behind leave an alliance behind to make it to the end um which we see it be a little more difficult on the flagship show because they create these bonds with these people season after season and it's harder to just like ignore them because also there's a consequence possibly of the next season them coming back to uh get their revenge um yeah. you know a lot of people on this season aren't thinking about that because who the heck knows what the future of the challenge holds like are we gonna have more seasons like this it seems like it i mean tj's telling all these people hope to see you in the future so it's like it seems like we're gonna see more of these seasons but we won't see that come to fruition until these seasons come and we see reoccurring cast members so it's almost like a one and done for all these people like do whatever you got to do to get to the end don't matter who you cross but uh yeah let's see we see um we see danny and dom's friendship kind of shine through this episode um we're gonna talk about the daily challenge right now but dom definitely helped danny get the win um so the daily challenge was in a football club stadium, 60,000 seat stadium. It was called Collect Four. You know, heavily relying on endurance. And that's pretty much it. I mean, small, I mean, strategy for sure, because of like what the girls did and everything. But I'll explain the rules real quick. The goal is to race up in the stadium and find your color coded tokens one at a time, place them on your board to get four in a row. 
you know, classic collect four. Backside of your token is black, so you can block other people's boards. This was an unsaid rule that I learned on Tyson's podcast. It was mandatory for each player to play one block before connecting their four. So that's interesting. So like as a viewer during the show, like we're just assuming people are going to just get four in a row on their board, not even worry about blocking anybody. But it was a rule by production that you did have to block somebody before connecting your four. Um, yeah, I mean, the Fab Five, if they were thinking right, they could have, you know, all five of them could have targeted Alyssa or Angela and guaranteed one of them in the elimination. It's hard to get that many people on the same page, especially on a female elimination day during a daily challenge. So I understand why it didn't work, but I'm looking at people like, like Cash, who probably knew she had a good chance of going in. Would you rather go in against Sarah, who Angela and Alyssa are sabotaging, or an Alyssa? I think the Fab Five should have teamed up on Alyssa. She's the smaller girl. Most of the Fab Five would feel okay going into elimination against an Alyssa rather than an Angela. So I think... Yeah, the Fab Five should have got together, made sure Alyssa was going into elimination, and then just, you know, whatever happens, happens after that. But it's easy to say for, like, a Cash or a Kayla, the one, or a Sarah, the ones in jeopardy of going in, you know, Justine and Desi have been kind of floating by safely somewhat. I mean, who knows how long that'll last, but, um, but yeah, Fab Five definitely fumbled the ball on that one what was your favorite part about this this uh daily challenge did you like the daily challenge i mean i just liked to see sarah crumble <laughs> no. that moment because she just was running around like you have to put a blog on angela you yeah. have to yeah. You have you have to hey, Ben, Ben, put a put a block on Angela. She's got she's gonna come for, for me. They're ben. putting black spots on mine. They're oh. gonna make me lose. And I just was like, nobody listening to you. Like you going in and that's just it. Angela and Alyssa was they stuck to their plan. They knew it was only two of them, so they had to be efficient in what yeah. they were doing. So you got to get your hip up and down them steps, get them um, tokens to put on the on the board, walk her up, and that's it. Guaranteed going in. Yeah. Angela kept her cool. Melissa kept her cool. And they did what they needed to do. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what I thought about that. Yeah, it was so funny seeing everybody's reaction to Sarah. Up to Dom and Donnie. Yeah. Dom, I mean, putting black spots on danny's or david's board david seems to be a hell of a competitor all of a sudden man this guy is you know he was like in the lead it seemed yeah, like gonna improve, yeah. yeah um so yeah shout outs to dom i mean putting his like game on the line in, in a way because you know obviously danny's gonna god damn it david's gonna be mad at him for blocking him so that yeah. could bite him in the butt later on in the season um, but then, like you said with Tyson's podcast, the rule that you know we didn't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Dom definitely, block. Dom definitely put more than one block on oh. David. Okay. So because like he put a block on, and then he put another one on, and I heard I heard David say like, "Did you put another one on mine?" <laughs> so like he definitely. It was clear. One. Yeah. After after the first one, it was you know anyone's anyone's guess but um yeah it was so funny seeing everyone's reaction to sarah trying to like get them to put a block on angela's board because they're all like yeah 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 okay and then <laughs> and then they just ignore it like, it's like whoop, whoop, put on my board sarah's like biggest weakness among others i'm assuming because she barely wins anything is her awareness she has no self-awareness of how she looks, how she sounds, 
what's happening around her. I mean, even like fast forwarding to the end of the challenge, the daily challenge, Desi and Danny are winners. And Sarah's like, I feel, I feel confident. You know, Desi's my girl. She's in there and she's going to give me what she wants. She's going to give me what I want. And it's like, uh, you know, there's, there's another winner on the other side. Uh, it's a, it's a two person win right there, but yeah. takes two to tango and all. takes two to tango. Um, but yeah, moving on the daily challenge, just a little fun fact. Enzo has the most money in the game right now. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. Not a fun fact, a funny fact, because that on. is hilarious. Bro, I think Tyson made a comment about that too. That's why I learned it because it was and Tyson said it on his podcast. Oh, well, Tyson said it in a confessional. He was like, I want to win to keep Angela safe, but also Enzo has the most money in the house right now. Like, I'm trying to get that money because Leo did win two eliminations and then Enzo beat yeah. Leo, so got all that money. And I think the next guy elimination, I believe Enzo probably will be going into elimination, but he's the last person or voted in. Who? Enzo. Yeah. Yeah. Enzo and David are on the outside of like the game being played right now. So they really have to like get a win under their belt to keep each one safe, to keep each other safe. Yeah. They have to do an Angela and Alyssa. Yeah. Um, but, but not real because I, they have no know, one. I, on I don't think they could do it. Yeah. I don't think they could either. Either. They can't I think, do it. I think it's a foregone conclusion that we see Enzo or David in elimination next episode, or the both of them against each other. And then after that, I think like we might be hitting a little bit of a hurdle in the challenge where like, yeah, we're going to see these friends go after each other. But after that, then this big alliance of guys really has to start eating at each other. So that'll be fun. And I would love to see that. Yeah, me too. Uh, I think Dom might be at the lower of the totem pole on this. Yeah, he, definitely. He will be. Um, Desi for the girls. If, you know, we'll see what happens with all of this. But Desi, you know, wasn't included in the original plan because the original plan didn't include her. So obviously she's yeah, going to be on the lower side. Of the outlier, yeah. Yeah. Um, but shout outs to Danny. You know, Danny's color is blue. His father's nickname is blue. He had a blue car. I'm sure Kiki likes the color blue as well. He didn't comment on it, so I'm curious, but I mean, yeah, wow. maybe Kiki's got some blue eyeliner she was wearing for the episode. I don't know. Some some good luck. Yeah, some blue panties. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> I'll let you say it then. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God. I was literally like, I'm not going to say that. And then you well, said that. <laughs> Uh, we so, had to <laughs> moving on <laughs> yeah, Sarah being unaware Don Block and David uh, Danny wins gets a congrats from TJ I mean that's high praise right there that's a, that's a moment you can tell your kids about you know TJ, no, TJ yeah. spoke to you got acclamations from, from TJ yeah, you, you do something good that's pure enlightenment right there yeah it is um, so Danny winning makes all the guys qualified for TJ's final. Uh, Tyson also talked about this on his podcast and it was like, you know, it's, it sucks because like you could ride that out for as long as possible, you know, like somebody not being qualified for the final, they're going to want their money. So th they're going to be the ones likely voted into elimination or volunteering to go into elimination. So this kind of cleans the slate and it's like purely an individual game on the guy side. And after this episode, it will be on the girl's side because after this episode, everybody is qualified qualified for TJ's final. So I think that's exciting for a viewer, though. It is. Yeah. Sarah loses, gets blocked out. Um, we get to the deliberation back at the house. Danny gives a little white lie to Desi and says that the deal that was proposed to him was Angela and Alyssa with the survivor guys and the survivor girls but uh we didn't know if we could trust desi and sarah because we didn't know how close they were to kayla and justine obviously a load of bullshit but um yeah danny kind of fumbled here i mean danny did say like desi's 
his like number one alliance girl but like if he was your number if she was your number one alliance girl why did you not even like try to keep her in the loop at all like you made this deal danny where desi wasn't involved like i don't know danny was like kind of scrambling all episode yeah. i don't know the reason why he just should have keep his mouth closed in, in my opinion yeah i agree um, it it wasn't a good it wasn't a good luck or move to just talk about that there and then it's like now yeah. you put everybody you put a mic you put you shine some light on this alliance that you built yeah and he proposed it so sketchily because he was like all right so we got to catch up the deal that was proposed to me is this and it's like desi is skeptical and rightfully so i mean if you're not in the loop then you're not in the loop that's the alliance yeah that's, that's, just... that's period you know yeah <laughs> the reason you're not in the loop like it's not like some of these people are like leaving the house going to work and coming back like everyone's in this house 24 7 like if the word's not getting around to you you're, you, it's meant to be you know like so we go to the bar we're starting to get some more drinking scenes which is cool we get an awkward talk between Alyssa and sarah that was pointless i don't know why Alyssa did that yeah was she trying to like save her face like in the challenge like maybe she it thought she was being perceived as like mean bullying sarah but then was like let me let me talk to her and get the camera to see it and so they know i'm not an asshole i don't know yeah it wasn't needed we get a chat between dom and desi dom trying to reel desi in and like agree with you know throwing one of the fab five in uh, Danny tells Alyssa that Desi needs to be involved in the alliance now. We'll see how that plays out. I think it's going to be like a pseudo alliance for Desi. I think it, they're just going to use Desi until they don't, until they can't, until they have to throw Desi in. Maybe Desi just skates to the final with them, though. Um, I'm not sure how Angela and Alyssa feel about running a final against Desi, but Desi clearly showed doubts about running a final against Angela. I remember in the deliberation room, um I, or somewhere she was yeah, just if probably, angela's yeah. in the final i might as well go home which i didn't expect from desi i thought she would be more confident than that she yeah was, she, she was there at the starting line yeah i was like what like come on desi you gotta put a little bit more confidence in yourself for real why are you scared out of everybody i think she has the better fight in chance yeah out of everybody it's it's like out of everyone in the house right now for the girls it's her and angela on the top for me so i agree yeah i agree um yeah i mean we talked about this a little earlier but although it's a female elimination day the the power is kind of with the guy because if the power couple can't agree on a decision on a female elimination day what's gonna happen if tj's you know if they're at the elimin elimination arena and they can't decide on one or the other tj's gonna be like all right if you can't decide desi you're going in like how will danny be punished for not agreeing not coming to an agreement when it's a female elimination day like do you really think tj will be like all right you're going to be penalized on the next daily challenge danny or all right you're going into the next guy's elimination danny like i can't see that happening i could only see like bad things happening for desi at that point yeah. So it is kind of strange how it's a female elimination day, but the guy can just do whatever he wants and uh, not get any consequences. I think that might be a flaw. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what the result would be of that. Um, because in prior seasons on the flagship show, um, we couldn't come to the agreement. Or two of y'all got to come down. Right. Because you know, uh, it was like a pair thing. But now it's just an individual game, so um, who knows what TJ would would say? And I think that's what Donnie was kind of careful of. Yeah. So yeah. I, yeah, you still got to be careful. I mean, yeah, because they could they could make their own rule up, at, you know, at any point. But yeah, Dazzy doesn't seem like the person for me, to me to like rage against the machine. Um, no, not at all. To, and stick to her guns and be like, no, I'm doing this, you know. She isn't like a Tina or Carl, you know, Laurel. 
the jazz be like, nope, not doing it. Don't care what y'all say. Um, I'm doing me. And that's just that. And I'll just take whatever. You'll take whatever. Or when you see that I'm so serious about this decision, you will change because I became uncomfortable in my choice and confident in my skin. It's going to affect you. And you're going to be like squirming. And then you're going to be like, ah, oh, no, okay, I don't want that. She seems serious. Let me change my mind on my vote. And we've yeah. seen that in the past. Veronica did not budge on Dirty 30. And, you know, that was it. Leroy went in. Yeah. So it was a that, shaking up in the house. Desi's not that type of player. You know, as much as I, I like Desi, you know, she's a good competitor, but she is a boring player. Um, even like Tyson on his podcast would be like, whenever there was drama, she would literally go to sleep because she didn't want to be involved in any drama. She clearly wants to skate to the final, which is fine. Everybody wants to skate to the final. Yeah. Um, yeah. But like, you know, she had a confessional where she's like, what should I do? Should I agree with Danny and bite my tongue and skate to the final or, you know, stand up for myself? And she's going to choose bite her tongue every time. It's the smart option. Yes. Um, but I don't necessarily know if, I want to see her on another show. I feel like we haven't seen much of her like personality. She just very not wanting to step on anybody's toes. Like I said, which is fine for the game itself, but I need a little bit of something. I need a little bit of something in order for me to yeah. watch it, want to see you. Yeah, play. in real life, we would work very well because I don't like to be in trauma and stuff like that as well. Yeah. But for a show like this is like, not necessarily that you have to like, attract it or just be in the mix all the time but if something's brought to your front door you need to say how you feel stand on what you believe and that's that don't let nobody try to convince you otherwise yeah. so so yeah um danny and desi end up their own cash in against sarah um was it the right move by desi most likely I mean, what else it is she going to do? Disagree and then maybe go into elimination? I mean, she was stuck between a rock and a hard place. Yeah, I knew Josh was going in. Yeah, it's about time for her to – it was about time for her to go in. Um, she made it really far. You know, congrats to Cash. Um, the elimination was called In a Roll, Two Giant Steel Hamster Wheels. Um, each connected to a 300-foot rope and a ball in the middle. Spin the wheel as fast as you can by running on it um, to get the ball on your side. Pretty simple, um, but not really because Cash could not figure it out for the first round, and it was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> I like the little... Um, the little edit they did the black and white with like the circus music and like sarah doing well and then pan to cash and she's just like running in place like that shit was funny as hell <laughs> um so yeah round one was a wash round two was really close but sarah clearly had more ind endurance than cash you know cash was like walking towards the end and she like i said it was really close but you can't afford to walk right there Especially when you barely ran the first round. Like, you should have energy to run the whole second round. Which um, brings me to another Tyson podcast moment. He had, like, a little strategy. He doesn't know if he would have done this. Because, like, it's so hard to, like, make a strategy for these types of eliminations when you're not in it. But he was like, I would not play round one. Save my energy. Lose. And then go all out round two and three. So ultimately, your opponent would run, would waste endurance for three rounds while you just waste endurance for two rounds. I thought that was like really smart. Risky, you know, giving up the first round, maybe act like you're trying. So your opponent goes all out, tires himself out. And then round two, you beat him. And then round three, your opponent's probably dead because he just you know, tried his hardest for two rounds straight. Um, I thought that was interesting. But um, Sarah wins. No one's scared of you, Sarah. She, she acts like she just beat, like, the toughest girl in the house. 
she barely won round two. I don't like to hate on Sarah too much, but her self-awareness, like the lack of it kind of gets on my nerves. <laughs> but yeah, everyone has money. And let the games begin. You know, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Let the games commence. Uh, next on, what what do you see the next on preview? We see it looks like Enzo and, and uh, David are in trouble. David's talking to like Angela and he's getting heated in a conversation. Enzo's getting pissed that these people win and keep winning. So maybe spoiler alert, Tyson wins the daily, but that's almost too obvious for the challenge to do. So, yeah. so we'll see. Um, I forget what type of a li- what type of daily challenge was in the next on preview, but um, I'm sure it's a good one. All these daily challenges have been pretty, pretty gnarly, as TJ would say. But um, yeah, that wraps it us wraps it up. Wraps it us. Wraps it us. All right. The recaps it wraps it us. And there you go. All right. But yeah, that wraps it up. Thanks for joining everybody. Please, please, please like the video, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Maybe one day I'll upload other content other than podcasts. But um right now your boy is busy. So shut the fuck up. All right, but um, until next time, until episode 10, we out. Peace.